Oh! What's up YouTube? Kind of a big deal videos. Paul here. 12 weeks out from the Classic Physique Show in Stratford, Ontario. April 9th. Stratford, Ontario Jammer uh, Show. The Jammer Shows are always wicked uh, great shows uh, to participate in. You know, free videos. Uh, great pros show up. So if you guys have a chance, check it out in Stratford. Uh, if you are in Ontario and uh, bodybuilding, physique, and bikini or figure are your things. Um, okay, so that being said, I want to talk about classic physique today since I'm 12 weeks out. And uh, there's some information trickling down. First of all, I want to bring up uh, some of the, of the uh, information I found out about the classic physique division. Now, just so you guys know, it won't be offered in every OPA show this year. As far as I know, the only one offered to date will be the Jammer show. So if you plan on going, unfortunately, I am increasing the competition that's coming my way by making this video. I would register for this show because we don't know what's going on. Um, that being said, check with the promoters in the OPA and see if anything is coming up. Um, I'm 12 weeks out. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good about the classic. I got the posing down, you know, some of this, some of this. Bam. Whole bunch of things coming in. But what I wanted to talk about was the size game, the classic physique, the bodybuilders. How are we doing? How should we look? Um, the shorts. Uh, by the way, I emailed Ron Hache. Um, for my American friends, MPC competitors, you guys know very well, I would assume, that you have to order the shorts from the NPC website. As for us, we have no direction yet. Um, Ron doesn't know uh, where we would get them. He did give me the specs, so I'm assuming we can get them custom made. I'm going to wait it out a bit. If I can't uh, get an answer, I'm going to get some custom made. Um, by uh, my uh, tailor here in Ottawa. Okay, so uh, I want to show you guys a little video of uh, Dareem Charles. Now you guys may remember him from the 90s and 2000s uh, being uh, one of the biggest bicep bodybuilders. So what's going on with this dude right now? So Dareem is entering classic physique. That's right, guys. There's, there's so many great, crazy music out there, and I've been listening to them, and I have a bunch stacked up that, and I'm so happy that I'm doing so many shows this year that I'm just going to unleash a barrage of the some arms. really creative that I compete. You can and, uh, see right now it's first and second, uh, being the first uh, men's fantasy show. And, um, I'm excited about that. A lot. <laughs> That's the question that and everyone's asking right now. You can see me and the Right and separated. I wouldn't say bodybuilding dude. I wouldn't say completely but, bodybuilding um, dude. But I stuck to very the damn close. It's definitely not a position. Weight and so um, this is a Blackstone last video. I'm um, right where I should be. Um, uh, so I would encourage you. To, to pause to it. I would encourage you to check this video out. If you can't see him, uh, maybe you can now. Uh, it's it's phenomenal to see you know what we're gonna anticipate. Uh, if I can guess my weight, and then we're gonna for this uh, for this new division. So that's one thing I want to present to you that there are big dudes competing in classic physique. So I would encourage you if you're a bodybuilder to come join me in this show in this division. We can meet up provincials. We can do it up. I'm going to be like roughly 220, I think, this year. So I will be a big guy on the scale. But, you know, that being said, I fall in my weight class at 6'1". So um, it'll be interesting. So uh, for OPA competitors, I also want to link Carl's videos. Carl is an OPA judge. And if you guys haven't seen his videos yet, you can look him up on Google. Carl Kai Chung. Um, you can see his his Nationals prep video here. The guy's a fusion sponsored athlete. Um, I met him a couple times, you know, at the Toronto Pro. Um, he judged a couple of my shows. I I've spoken to him. 
I would recommend you uh, talk to Carl if you you know can't talk to Ron or you can't talk to Rudy. Um, in fact, there are a whole bunch of people in the OPA. If you're in Ontario and you want some advice and some critiques, um, you can speak to any one of them. Um, there's also um, uh, for uh, Winston Winston Roberts, really great guy to talk to. Um, if you're fig figure um, or bikini, there are also some other uh, OPA judges I would recommend you talk to. Anyways, I'll maybe uh, maybe I'll make another video listing the OPA contacts that I I've gotten to uh, know uh, so that you can actually speak to them after a show. But I encourage you. I mean, you can fish them out. You can find them. And I encourage you to get feedback and, and get that judges video too because you know what? It's good feedback. That being said, Carl's got some videos here. Bikini, Bikini Review, Judges Corner, OPA Men's Physique. So if you're competing in any of these classes, Carl Wheels for Life. Check out his channel. I will link it below. I will. I am subscribed so you can find him under mine. This is Carl. Sorry guys, I cut off. Um, this is part two of his video. 15 in bodybuilding. Okay. Posing, guys. Come on. I know a lot of people wait till last minute to start learning how to pose. You cannot fool. Yeah, okay. So that he talks about posing. He'll talk about conditioning. Talk about people coming in too big. He'll talk about overpowering muscle groups. He'll talk about just asymmetry. Um, one of the good points he really makes is if you have a body group that really stands out, like, you know, I have a freakish chest, big shoulders, and they really stand out. If anybody says, wow, that guy's got amazing shoulders, I'm doing a bad job because I should, uh, you know, it, from an outsider's perspective, it should be, wow, that guy, I can't tell what's, you know, amazing with that guy because everything is. That is the ideal bodybuilder. Remember, you're scored on seven poses in classical, will be scored on five. So really it's to get the balance of the size, the arms have to match the hamstrings, the hamstrings have to match the chest, the chest has to match the delts, the delts have to match your, the arms and should match the calves. And there is this proportional balance, like this dance going on here, you know, everything's got a jive. Uh, and you're scored on seven poses, and you know, all those things are a factor when you're being scored, as well as conditioning. So if you're coming in to look too big and you're not conditioned, you're doing yourself a disservice. It's not a good idea. Um, other than that, if you're coming in, you know, too flat, probably not a good idea either. You want to make sure you're full. It's an art, right? Bodybuilding, you don't always get it right. It doesn't always work out to your advantage. It's not always your fault. Your body doesn't always respond. That being said, watch Carl's videos. He's really resourceful. Okay, and lastly, I worked out uh, with my friend Brian Briggs. Brian's known on YouTube as uh, the Cocky Jerk. I'm going to link him below. So check out Brian's videos because they're very, very interesting. Uh, we were working out at New Body because we have a project going on right now, Brian and I. Um, so Brian and I are essentially working on a weight loss project for him or a recompositioning project. Now, Brian's a big dude. He's a wrestler. Um, you know, he uh, power lifts. So what Brian wants to do right now is recompose to about 10%. That's Brian in the back. You can see him. He's holding the camera. He's like 280. We want to get him down to about 250. Cocky jerk. He's got an interview with him and I. Right now we're filming me pressing the, yes, that's right. These are the 140s at New Body. And this is, guys, how I developed this thickness in my chest. Um, this is how you develop the striations. Everything you see from the side of my chest, this is all due to lifting heavy dumbbell isolated movements. Now you'll see 140 is in my cap. I go up to 180 when I can find there was some in uh, a small town in Ontario I used to do. Um, like you saw, I can wrap those out for about eight easily. Um, the other videos, you know, this is easy peasy stuff. This video I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the uh, five plates on this uh, hammer strength machine. Hammer strength, guys, there's no art to this. Um, you'll probably see the skinniest guy have a video of him hammer strengthening uh, five plates like this on one of these machines. 
because it's so damn easy to name everybody they're all impressed thinking that it's a big lift well it isn't my friends it's just a showboating exercise in fact i don't find it really stimulates anything um but if you do have a chance the hammer strength are a good additional movement to a workout um one of my favorite movements however is this one cross cables so i'll load up the entire stack um you know fully extend and then rep it out as frequently as i can um just some context this is like nine in the morning brian didn't even tell me it was coming to ottawa uh so i made it down you know got in my car in a snowstorm and uh, didn't really eat breakfast i think i had some shredded wheat or something ridiculous and um yeah I'm, I'm feeling pretty flat i was at the sens game bruins sens bruins game the night before um you know the wife and i went out so uh I was pretty exhausted here and uh we're still we're still giving it our all um this is 13 weeks out um new body's lighting is kind of sucky so you don't see as much uh separation as i would like but anyways you know a little bit of video footage for those interested um cocky jerk i'm really excited about this project i'll be meeting with brian weekly and we'll be working on his recomposition i do not personal train people disclaimer do not contact me um, if you're a friend, as you know, I'll help you out. I help friends out with their goals. I do not do this professionally. I do this for fun. It's a hobby. I love this. Uh, I love this sport. I love helping people. Um, there are coaches, TNT, who uh, I, of course, am part of. Um, and uh, Tony Sterling and Bellier, if you're looking to get next level, go to them. Um, if you're looking for, you know, just uh, recompositioning, there are guys in Ottawa, my friend Steve Bat, who owns Lumberjacks Fitness. Um, you know, uh, if you're interested, contact me. I can I can set you up depending on your needs. Um, there are a bunch of trainers for different needs. Again, I do not charge. Um, I, I I do not provide services at this time. Um, I'm too busy with my uh, professional career, and uh, I just love bodybuilding, and I make these videos for the for you guys and um, anyways rambling enough about it you guys understand I hope so uh, if you do want a trainer I can hook you up or recommend some really good trainers in the area or in Canada I know of quite a few um, that being said I'm here to be a resource and I'm here to link anybody who has questions about bodybuilding physique any kind of competition Give you guys some insights, some knowledge, diet information. I'm not here to be a uh, coach, however. Okay, so 12 weeks out. I'm super so uh, super stoked about this show. Gonna have some cooking videos later. Uh, right now, my chicken's in the oven. Maybe I'll record that and keep that for uploading another day to show you guys how I prep my meals. It's late. I'm going to bed soon. Got to work tomorrow. Peace out. I will see you guys 11 weeks out, even more shredded. Can you guys believe this is 12 weeks out? I can't. Bam! Peace. Kind of big deal videos. Subscribe.